Wow. That's the first word that comes out of everybody's mouth that sees this bike. This is a very rare 1992 Harley Davidson Softail Custom Show Bike on display now at Kaplan Cycles on site at the New England Motorcycle Museum. This bike is absolutely stunning. Um, has an original factory blue and silver and over $10,000 of upgrades have been done to the bike on the motor, suspension, everything has been done to this bike. This thing's absolutely gorgeous. But uh, I just love this view, this left side view here of the bike. It's just such a clean, classic Harley look. It's absolutely stunning. When we get up a little closer here, you can see the engine is in impeccable condition because um, it, it's just been fully rebuilt by the master craftsman at the New England Motorcycle Museum Restoration Shop. <clears throat> I guess I'll start with that. I'll start with the engine. The engine is, um, we just did a frame off restoration on this bike. Took approximately six weeks to do it front to back. The engine was removed from the frame, stripped the bike right down to the frame, and the engine was bored by thousandths over. It has a brand new top end, brand new valve job, brand new rocker covers. You can see brand new chrome rocker covers, brand new lifter covers. Um, the engine was painted the factory Harley Davidson crinkle black, all new bolts. So you got a brand new top end on a 15,000 mile original bottom end, 15,600 miles. These Evolution 1340cc V-twin engines are notorious for going 100,000 miles or more on original bottom end. So this bottom end is not barely broken in. Everything was right to factory spec. So there was no work done to the bottom end other than the entire case is being uh, sanded and painted and all the bolts were placed on it. So it's a brand new engine. Um, this is over a $3,000 engine job that was done to this bike, including the transmission was uh, removed from the frame, uh, cleaned, tested to spec, and put all back together and painted. So the transmission's all redone, engine's all brand new. It's an SNS Super E carb. Again, it's board 5,000 over. It has a uh, Screaming Eagle uh, ignition module. So it's got the, it's a stage two kit, which includes the SNS carb, the Screaming Eagle engine uh, programmer, the uh, race tuner. It has the EV27 cam, it's bored 5,000 over, brand new top end, and it has the uh, uh, custom cycle shack, dual exhaust, um, drag style pipes, oversized, so it sounds just awesome. And it, and it uh, idles, it just, it just, you know, sounds and looks awesome. Unlike the, the new fuel injected bikes that don't idle low, when I'm going to fire this thing up, you can hear it, it's just, it's just amazing. Um, all the chrome on the engine. Uh, has a brand new coil cover, brand new uh, plug wires, brand new plugs, brand new air filter. The um, shifter rod was uh, was uh, painted. Uh, so the engine's all brand new. Primary chain, chain case was dismantled. Everything's to spec inside there. All new gaskets, all new seals. Brand new engine. So, uh, and boy, does it run sweet. Five-speed transmission. Has a forward controls. These are aftermarket forward controls with the rubber grips on there. Brand new, uh, brand new pegs. Um, the uh, horseshoe style oil tank is in mint shape. Uh, has a brand new Lepera custom low profile saddle on it. Um, the frame was, was, was painted um, and uh, the factory paint job was retained because it's in such beautiful condition. It is a 23 year old motorcycle so there are a couple of little scratches uh, I can show you but they're, they're hard to see at first. Um, you gotta kind of look for them but it's hard to find an original paint job in this shape and, and nobody does a better uh, paint job than the factory paint job. It's just beautiful and the graphics are stunning. There's a couple little nicks here on the back, little ladybug nicks, little tiny ones. Um, starting at the front of the bike, the front end was, when the bike was dismantled, it was completely rebuilt. We'll start at the front tire. It has a brand new Harley Davidson Dunlop D402F front tire and tube. It's on a custom 80 spoke twisted chrome spoke front wheel with a chrome rim, chrome hub, a uh, stainless steel rotor, and the, uh, the factory fork tubes, lower tubes were chromed. The uppers, the chrome on the uppers is mint. Um, the forks are rebuilt, new fork seals, new fork oil, completely rebuilt. The steering stems were repacked. Uh, this, the entire front end on this bike is over $3,000 of custom trickery on the front end. It has a late model, Harley Davidson headlight. It's a $350 headlight for the bucket and all the components. Uh, chrome triple trees, brand new chrome four inch risers, new drag bars. Harley, the mirrors are off a 2003 Fat Boy. They just fit perfect on this bike. All the switch housings are chrome. Um, brand new uh, Renthal uh, rubber and chrome grips, chrome clutch lever, chrome brake lever. It's got a really cool embossed 
Flaming Skull logo on the um, cover for the uh, master cylinder. Master cylinder is rebuilt, caliper is rebuilt, all the switches, all the electrics, everything works perfect on it. There's a little bit of pitting on the chrome right here. It's hardly noticeable when you look at the bike, but if you look real close right there, there's a little bit um, of discoloration on the chrome. That's a, the chrome that was done, uh, aftermarket chrome was done on the switch housings a, a few years back. So those aren't perfect, but the rest of the front end is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, all the cables, braided, all the cables on the bike, braided stainless throttle cables, dual throttle cables, braided stainless front brake cable, as you can see, uh, brake hose, um, braided stainless clutch uh, cable. Those are all brand new. So all new cables, the front end's brand new. Like I said, frame off restoration was over $10,000 where the work was put into this bike just now. Um, the uh, heading towards the back of the bike, again, we've got the matching. Renthal style rubber uh, passenger pegs, rear swing arms in beautiful shape, painted black, brand new chrome axle covers, brand new lower chrome belt cover, chrome rear fat boil style soft tail solid disc mag with a brand new Dunlop D402F. This it has not even been test ridden with this. You can still see it has the, the nubs on the tire. So um, uh, tire's brand new. The factory um, rear uh, um, sprocket was, was chromed. Uh, again, that was done a while ago, so there's a, a little bit of discoloration on the chrome on the uh, rotor. That's not perfect. You could put a chrome cover on there, but we thought it was better to leave it just a factory one chromed because it looks awesome. So, um, brand new turn signals on the bike. Uh, factory rear brake light is uh, intact and in perfect shape. So, I, I hope I didn't leave anything out. Um, horn works great. My fires right up. And it idles only like a high performance Evo does. Quite sounds amazing. Again, this is just a stunning machine. Um, there's probably somewhere in the area of $25,000 total invested in this bike, uh, $10,000 in all the customization and modification, plus the original, the original cost of the bike and the maintenance. So this bike is gonna sell for somewhere around half of what was invested into it. So you can't go wrong. And it's a genuine Harley Davidson. It's uh, absolutely gorgeous and it's uh, soon to be a vintage. And uh, they, you just don't find them in this kind of shape uh, or with this kind of effort put into perfection of uh, assembly on the engine. Uh, I think I mentioned, well, I mentioned again, it's a whole new bolt kit on the engine too, so all the bolts that put the top end together are all brand new. The side cover bolts are brand new. The, um, it has a uh, chrome matching flaming skull on the uh, primary chain case cover. Primary chain case is original chrome, has a tiny bit of pitting in it, it's barely noticeable, if you, but I just want to tell you that. Um, we left it alone because it really looks fine. It's just a little bit of the patina uh, from the original Harley Chrome. Real stunning bike. If you have any questions, give me a call 860-916-9784. You know, from the 80 inch, 80 spoke front chrome wheel to the rear chrome wheel on the back. A lot of custom, high quality Harley accessories on this bike and, and uh, very tastefully done by professionals here at Kaplan Cycles the New England Motorcycle Museum. Again, call 860-916-9784 if you have any questions, and good luck bidding, and God bless.